Dr. Hala, I have one personal question. It is, uh, so when, when you decide to start the company, I, I know you told me that uh, the industry was going, it was leapfrogging. And uh, so I saw the technology was going up. So was it like intrinsic where you felt like, oh, I have to go and start this company now? Or was it like after a lot of deliberation and saying that, hey, this is going to work, I'm going to go and start this company? How, how did that uh, come about for you? Yeah, and, and in my you know, background, if you saw, I was in a big company most of my time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It was not so much that I have to start a company. Yeah. It was more of it is that this industry is really wanted the solution and nobody is giving it. So I'll, yeah. another way I kind of explain this way, right? Let's say you have your buffet already. Now somebody is offering another ice cream. And yeah. here is this guy who is hungry. Nobody is giving them food. Yeah. So basically in the passenger vehicle, there are, 100 company, $80 billion went, but they yeah. can't go into production because it's so much harder. And yeah. they, there is this heavy industry who can go to production, but less than half a billion got invested. No yeah. company wants to do that. I was like, you know what? Nobody <laughs> Maybe I should do it. So that's kind of the trigger point that they, they really can go to production today, but nobody yeah. is willing for them. And here is this industry can't go to production at this moment, but everybody's focusing on that. Yeah, actually, uh, the early this year, I went to CES and everything was about autonomous vehicles. And okay. I was so surprised when I saw that. I, I I mean, I came back and I said, OK, if I own Tesla stocks, maybe it's time for me to get rid of some of them. After I saw the number of companies in CES, which was all focused on autonomous vehicles. And that's why when I saw Safe AI, I was like, this is very interesting. This is out of the box uh, in like in FD 